Hi again. Well, along the lines of why I'm not voting this year and probably not next year unless I see an individual um, with no parties uh, come into play. However, um, yeah, well, here's reason one. Uh, I'm done with voting for people on any party, libertarian, Republican, Democrat, does not matter. Um, voting on these promises that they're going to make and then having them not keep them and having that be acceptable. You should be fired instantaneously, especially on things that you do have control, on signing of things when you swear and promise not to do such things. And it becomes acceptable and then we elect and we vote and we're occupied by gay rights which are important rights yes but you already have them naturally it's called civil disobedience disregard i mean the government you, you keep asking the government for permissions for everything our existence as a population will be spent begging the government for every little right that we have it, we're never all going to agree upon anything hence natural rights which gives an individual the most freedom possible some people just don't want freedom. They don't want that. They don't want to have to stand on their own too. And maybe if they need something, actually give some of their time and treat the person next to them with respect and actually have to be involved in their community. Um, that is the only community that I see ever being successful um, in any country. Uh, this top-down system um, of corrupt decadence and liars um, with a few good guys and a few good women in there, sorry. Uh, it's like trying to change the Gambinos from the inside, no offense to the Gambino family. Um, you know, <laughs> you, you got bigger competition. But my point being that you're not gonna, you're not gonna do that. It, it's peddling. So basically, when you vote, and you vote for all these things and they don't keep them. And we have the largest historical civil rights loss in this country ever in the last 10 years from both these fuckers, treasonous bastards. Um, if you ask me, you know, I mean, you should be a fucking ashamed of yourself. Um, but I didn't have expectations of any of these guys anyways, because I've been paying attention to the media around the world. Um, and it's quite clear uh, and the alternative media especially. Um, I'm quite capable of being told the truth and shown the facts and weighing those myself and then sourcing that out and putting things together and deciding what is tangible and real evidence. Um, relying upon the government for your information as of what, as I mean, how many times do you have to be lied to, my God, to just go, okay, you know, I'm not going to use this as a credible fucking source, you know, but you keep going, oh, well, he's a, he's a, we got a Democrat in here, we got a good Republican in here, and they continue doing the same thing, and they have been doing that. They used to be tarred and feathered, and I'm not advocating any violence because this cannot be violent at all. We must uh, throw our bodies to the gears um, non-violently, um, not hurting um, anybody. Um, I hate to fucking say it, but sometimes taking the stick, but not selling out and taking money after the beatdown. Pursuing the justice of the action is pursuing that that individual, especially if it's a police officer, and we're talking about the violence and selling out around that area, that those people and individuals pursue that for justice sake, or you're not fucking representing anyone, but the same thing you claim to hate as ultimately your God is money. Um, not the justice of the action. These police get away with this stuff and good police suffer for it and their reputation suffer for it because you keep settling out. How would they respect you? How could they respect you? You're a fucking sellout. That's how they look at you because you are. It's a hypocrisy. Just because you think you're standing on the right side does not mean your actions are right. Um, you might want to study some ethics and good intentions. Dante wrote a lot about it, not to uh, uh, push up some old uh, philosophies and, and text, but, you know, it, history repeats itself, and we keep repeating it over and over and over again, and um, I'm done voting for it, because I realize my vote is killing somebody in another country um, for greed. I don't have any problem with, with any Muslim or Catholic or anybody. I don't care. You know what? I'm, I may seem like I don't respect your religion. I do. I respect it as long as you keep it in your fucking house and I'll put it in my fucking face. 
But aside from that, I respect you. Have that. I believe you should. I think the beauty of all one is that we merge together. You know, eventually, you know, hopefully we get past this division that they've set up for us to keep us occupied fighting amongst each other while we fight for scraps at the table as the largest transfer of wealth in history has occurred thanks to the sleeping masses. And I'm just as guilty for it. I should have been ringing louder. But, you know, like some of my friends who have been dissuaded and have decided they're like, fuck this, I'm not even going to say it because it's... You, 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 it doesn't matter the evidence that you show, even historically, you know, it's selective. It's like they'll advocate the educated. And then when you show the education in the own, the own text that is read in our educational systems and you show it and you go, well, boom, 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 here's the da, da, da. And it keeps happening over and over and over again. And here's how they keep doing it, doing it. They're not, they're telling you right there. And then you go, oh no, but not us, which is exactly what the masses every time in any civilization um, when there's been t tyranny have said, or even when it's been good, not us, you know, hence why the slide is comfort and dependency, which leads to that. Um, I have no problem d being dependent upon my community because of course I am, we all are, but the government is not my community. You are my community. And although you may think I'm an asshole and I may say this and I may be vulgar, um, hey, that's cool. And, and you don't have to like it. And I don't have to like that you don't like it. We can get along. We can do this together. I have plenty of friends that we do not see eye to eye on. But I respect that they, they you know, stand on their own two feet. At least they have um, a spine. <laughs> um, and they do have some good points. However, ultimately the way I see it is uh, looking from a historical point and how this just revolver keeps going around and around and i'm sick of opening my mouth and swallowing the bullet um so let's just exercise civil disobedience in a peaceful way non-violently um because why the hell would you want to hurt another american or, or anybody let's fuck the american whatever anybody anywhere for your point of view unless they are at your damn doorstep taking it away from you. Now, I believe that as an American, it's my patriotic duty to defend others, whether they see it or not, um, in a nonviolent manner. Um, but, you know, there are those who, when they don't get their way, will turn to violence. Um, and I, I hear the Twitters about the Obamites and the fucking Republican, the Mitt Romneys, you know, both of you are fucking morons, all of you. I get you might have good intentions and good values as uh, individual families and people. As a group, you're about as dumb as a fucking rock. Dumb. -a. I mean, you can't even see the hypocrisy that comes out of your mouth when somebody says something. Talk about peace and love. Wow, I hear some hateful, despising shit. And uh, the love of the UN, my friends, is not a good fucking idea. One global government is a central hub. Historically, the population has been fucking dominated. Look, read a book. 101 history, anywhere, any country, read it about the United States, they'll fucking tell you. Just pick up the damn book before you vote. Please, read a book. Read a book or watch a fucking video. Hey, I'm, I'm visually stimulated too. Um, get a video, you know, a fucking goddamn cliff notes of the motherfucker. But Jesus, you know, getting people to vote, not knowing what they're voting for makes absolutely no sense. That is fucking retarded. So anyways, yes, I love the word fuck and I'm exercising my civil rights again. Fuck off. Fuck you. Suck a cock. What the fuck? All that shit. Yeah. Is there any point to saying it? Well, no, except for the point that if you do not exercise it, you will lose it. I could easily find other words. Um, however, to make a point and to exercise some civil disobedience just in a minor level. God, if you can't even say that shit, you know, because you're so worried about this or fucking that. Wow. I mean, and you're worried about that and you're worried about fucking terror. You're already fucking terrorized. I mean, the job is done. Whether it's from in home or outside, <laughs> you, their job is done. You're so afraid you can't even think. Don't be afraid. <laughs> you know, death comes to us all. It all comes a knock, and ain't a whole lot you can do. You know, better on your feet than on your fucking knees. And um, you know, if you can die, uh, an old man or woman um, with a fruitful life, knowing that you have done what you can do to help your fellow neighbor, while allowing them. To 
to be themselves as an individual, which is a selfless act by doing something for them without trying to change them to what you seem to view or I seem to view the way that they should be. Anyways, why am I not voting? Because it's fucking rigged. It's, it's a fucking bullshit. Look around you, my God. Pay the fuck attention. <laughs> if you can't notice the exclu- We wouldn't have even been talking about this 10 fucking years ago. You feel me? Here we are, 10 years ago. How'd that happen? So fast. Because the two fucking towers, are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Oh, and as a, as a side fact and note, um, the bombing of Hiroshima... And uh, Yogashima, not Yogashima, you know what I'm saying. Um, we just surpassed those deaths in these wars um, of, of the two nukes. Um, yeah, so that's a lovely thing to think about too. So exercise your freedom. Uh, you're only a slave in here. And, uh, you know, if you don't exercise it, <laughs> like everything else, it gets fat and blubbery and is no use to you and will be taken, and someone else will decide for you what you should eat, think, and feel as they already are doing on a lot of levels. Um, Read into it, see what it's actually saying. Um, Lots of text, you know, just in a basic education, very uh, guiding. If you can't see that, then I guess you need to learn how to think and read. Um, Anyways, yeah, I mean, I'm not a big novel guy, but I, I love history. I love history and I love uh, I love facts and I love science, um, love math but fucking hate doing it. Um, but these are things that we need. Um, these are the one. These are the these are the things that our ancestors, Western civilization speaking, um, gave us um, as tools to better ourselves throughout the historical domination of the masses. Just look at it historically. Tell me when the masses have ever been really sitting pretty, really. Um, it's never happened, but others have been sitting pretty. So, you know, if you don't know the history of the world, then you won't understand the history of the United States, and you won't understand the history of last week or last year if you don't pay attention to what people say and then what they do. If you can't follow up on what they do, I mean, if you're just going to trust everybody, I mean, well, I won't do that, and I expect many Americans like me will not do that also. Um, again, uh, thank you. Won't be voting, won't be voting, but I heard something about Jesse Ventura running as an individual. I like the guy's record. I like that he never met with a lobbyist. I like that the only people he met with were the people. Um, and he's weren't willing to run under an individual as no party, no party. Let's start running as individuals. If we're going to have fucking leaders, let's not do this party shit because there is no true representation of the individual in the mass. The counterproductive. It's a hypocrisy statement in itself. Just think about it. All right. Later. Have a good night.